Hello, dear friends. So today is my uh, fall break. So I come to Kenter Museum again in Stanford. These couple of days, I made some video of museum visit. Some friends seems like it, and it's uh, it makes me uh, very happy and very interested. And also, right now, I am taking a public speaking class. So I want to take this opportunity to, to make a talk about art. Between informative speech and persuasive speech. Okay, let me do it. The city of, of passion, emotion is beyond what picture can can convey and it is uh, a much more intense artistic rendering of an event this event could be a teeny tiny small thing we did not know what has happened in this painting what happened in this painting, we did not know. And uh, I went, uh, I came here a couple of days ago and then I went to check about this painting. There was no detailed explanation of this painting except people just uh, praise. Everyone was looking at uh, the hero. So I was thinking maybe I should borrow an artistic license and make up a story. You may not need to believe it and uh, it's purely my, uh, my imagination. It could be a little boy or a little girl, a young kid fell into the water. It could be an old man or any person fell into the water or a dog into the water, a pet or something. I think at that time, pet is already in existence, domestic, domesticated. This is a typical, typical, typical uh, Belgian uh, street scene. I have been to Berg, and it looks very much like this. Uh, this uh, this uh, uh, triangle top tip is, uh, and I have some cookie box in such shape. Anyway, it's a very, very typical uh, construction structure. I'm sorry, people around, I, I lost my focus. So, it first explains, let us know the time of of this period. But the thing is that if you go to Belgium today and 300 years ago, 500 years ago, the street seems not changed. The changed things are people's clothing and uh, the way people dress themselves, the attention into their clothing really explains so much about the time. So let's say there was something fell into the water, the canal fell into the water, and then there was this young guy, very heroic, and uh, jumping into the water to save. And before he jumped into it, everyone was looking, and uh, he got so much attention. This might be just a, a millisecond movement or a few seconds he hesitated because he need to jump into the water. But uh, so much tension, attention, emotion, all condensed, all stopped, freeze all freeze in this one second. T 
time frame. And in such a short time frame, it, this painting has told us so much, so much. So, we can see the water barrel it's painted, it's like a picture, right? So you can see they use wood and uh, use uh, copper to, to confine it, to make it stronger. And the shape is so Art Nouveau style and such an elegant shape. And uh, what else? The people's clothing. This must be from an aristocrat family. So the clothing is velvet or silk and uh, soft and, uh, and beautiful. And what makes me interesting is the, the sleeve. A huge sleeve here. A huge sleeve there, and then enclosed, enclosed here, so that uh, it must be much easier and comfortable and warmer in a cold weather. And also, if you have such a huge sleeve, you cannot easily walk and do things. So it's not only beautiful, but also very functional. And uh, I paid some attention to their feet, to the shoes. So I didn't find any high heel shoes. And uh, if you have been to Beiba, Belgium, this part of Europe, people wear a lot of wood shoes. And uh, although they are not wearing wood shoes. These could be leather shoes or seems very much like leather shoes, but it was made in that particular style, wood shoes style, like the croc in our, <laughs> in our modern days. Okay, so majority of people are living in just a ordinary life so they do not have uh, very new clothes this young lady this little girl her clothes is uh, is broken and uh, maybe she could not afford the the shoes she's very much like the cinderella <laughs> of the story <laughs> without shoes and have to do the chore daily chore and uh, and the little boy dressed up like uh, like circus, and they must be doing some uh, some work also. And uh, what I have seen in this young gentleman, he is uh, full of uh, courage and braveness, and uh, he has this heroic gesture or pose before jumping into the water he has taken out uh, opened up his uh, upper jacket and I could not understand and I could not figure out what why he wear this kind of uh, pants he had uh, an undergarment definitely you can see that's not uh, that must be uh, elastic socks Pentax, spandex, or something that kind, and uh, and the other side, one side does not have another side have uh, these uh, uh, decorative pens, and it matches with the the clothing red with green uh, with green ribbon or with green edge. Here, this lady. She holds a clothes all the time. I have never noticed. Now this time I start to no notice. He must be in a rush and taking off the big uh, cape 
that looks very much like a cape. And this lady helped him to pick up this cape because it's a red and green, red and green. The color is matching with each other. It looks very much like a, a circus performance or, or a dancer, the, the body gesture and the way he, he was standing there. It's really not uh, an ordinary just uh, you and me. It looks very much a very well trained uh, performer, street performer or an opera performer or or even a ballet dancer. And uh, behind there was this little young little girl. No matter whatever time, no matter what time, there are always in any culture, in any place, in any country, there are these very cute, naive face. And that is so universal. And here, this little boy, must be a little boy, a oh, little girl, oh, another little girl. And uh, this little girl is uh, full of curious and does not have that much sense of aesthetic. There are girls or there are people born with a sense of uh, aesthetic. They know how to, how to, um, they just born with that beautiful face feature and this one seems has not yet opened up and understanding uh, about the face feature, facial feature and just very naturally, very naively expressing her curiosities. Mm -hmm. Another little boy, this little boy, he might have seen and uh, he must have seen something and because he was on the front line, whenever there is accident happens and things happen, the people behind always tries to ask a question and uh, he must have seen, see, he has dropped his clothes there or the other guy just uh, fell down from here and slipped from here. Anyway, he was one of the person who had some internal information and uh, he is explaining it. Everyone was paying attention to this young man and, uh, and his uh, explanation was overheard and not paid attention. Everyone was paying so much attention. And uh, each person it, it shows so much about the life, lifestyle of that particular period. A lot of working class people, if we make a calculation of this, how many people do we see in this? Uh, this must be the flamon hat like Bodan, like a flamon hat. One, two, five, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, around sixty or seventy people. There are five, three, three, four people wearing this beautiful dress and uh, belonging to the to the higher class and uh, it's very much a majority people's daily life i like this kind of painting because it speaks so much about life so much about history and uh, it captures something that beyond what camera can capture and it's uh, an elevated life it's real but more than more than real it's life but uh, higher than life and uh, so the older paintings are usually when people are rich they can afford some portrait or 
or religious painting or painting about uh, a special um, art event or special uh, a special historical event a s- historical personnel and uh, and uh, uh, royal families or rich aristocrats family but this one is of course this is not the first painting that that uh, describes illustrates people's life but this kind of painting it's really a fresh to our eyes when we see so much of the painting about uh, about subjects that very far from us and very high, very distanced from us. This one really brings life into art and uh, it has great life in itself and it has its reason to exist and uh, to be appreciated and to to be cherished beautiful work so much story behind it each of these person is a story if we make um, if we make a movie this can be each one can be one chapter Let's take a look at the artistic style. We will not look at the artist style in uh, every uh, point out everything about it. Let's see from some basic the structure. There is uh, the layout of this painting and how the artist bring the attention of this painting. You can see this painting. It's actually the center stage was not the center stage was not at the center of this painting. It brings a lot of movement of this painting. When we see a painting like this, like this, like this, like this, and that, and that, and that, so many other paintings when we see the painting we see okay right in the middle it's it's the story happening but this one no the story happens in the little corner and this little corner is stretching every it brings every piece into one direction You can see people's eyes are all into this central focal point by breaking the usual focal point in the center. This one has much more dynamic and movement and interest and eccentric uh, style or eccentric, much more interest than if it is right in the middle and uh, I did not know if he did it intentionally or not but right in the middle is one of uh, the prettier uh, is one of the prettier characters of this painting and he did really put a lot of attention into the center stage, the center stage, the very vivid, uh, attention. If you see this one, this lady must be the center of, of the whole painting. 
she must be connected with this accident in this or that way. It could be her pet, it could be her children, it could be her husband, it could be her friend, family, because with so much interest and curiosity in this painting, she definitely does not have the the, 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 the expression of curiosity. When everyone is curious, 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 everyone curious, curious, or indifference. My life is busy enough. What do I care about that? Yeah. So curious. Ooh, something happened. Let's go. He boys, that's something fun. And this one. Ooh, ooh. What is happening here? My life is already uh, full of things to do. Mm. And this one curious. Ooh, something happened. This one curious. Uh, Every day taking care of a baby and holding the baby must be not that much fun. And this one is uh, could be a little mischievous little boy. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are things happening. See, curious. And this one is, he might be the known person in the, in the city and knows everything and very learned person and knowledgeable person and respected person and he has this uh, this gesture and uh, expression of uh, authority mm -hmm. and everyone else is curious look at this guy his face is the two gentlemen behind the three gentlemen behind everyone is just curious and asking question what is happening and only she is not curious she is distressed she is stressed she is nervous worried and she has the different emotion fear facial emotion that uh, that uh, stands her out so the center of this painting is here the young man and the woman these two and let's take a look at the light the center he does not take much light and here, this young lady, the light takes much more. The color is lighter, and, uh, and uh, the color is lighter, and uh, the light is brighter on this part. Because when we do painting, maybe this was not, original pl not originally planned. But when we had so much attention, into this part. If we use too much light, this painting will be out of balance. So, okay, young man, you got the attention. And uh, here, some more roomy place, we got the light. So make this painting dynamic and well balanced. And uh, the, the building, the building is uh, so well planned in its perspective. You can see uh, the shade, the light, and uh, some shading here. Yeah, did you see the shading here? Because it's behind, it's lighter, but uh, the whole wall is white so it could not be becoming black so it's a very calculated use of color of color nuance and uh, you can see the the bridge is uh, 
a little bit used and here some chips bumps and here with uh, a steel bar to protect it so this black it might be done by this blacksmith so you can see the industrial development up to what stage oh, that is such 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 a typical Belgian house hope I can find some more story. Anyway, each time we see a painting, we get new impression, get new idea, and make up new story. So when we go to museum and see a piece of artwork, stay there, take time to look at it, to reflect and uh, to make it into your own painting. Make it into your own artwork and build up that relationship. You go to museum, there are so many paintings. There's no doubt they are all wonderful, wonderful masterpieces. But uh, it's like there are thousands, millions gazillion people in this world. There are so many people in this world, but there is only one person that you fell in love with and becomes your husband or wife. So it's all fate, even though, yeah, even though there are so many paintings, there is one painting belongs to you. That is you, yours. Take your time, find your paint lover, find your painting lover, find your masterpiece lover, and build up the relationship. Spend time with it. You do not need to care about others. They are beautiful, but they are beautiful for other people. There is one painting beautiful for you, and one time Go to museum and fall in love with one to a couple of painting, a couple of uh, masterpieces and build up the relation that you make the best of your museum visit. And the rest walk through it so that you understand what it is inside. But spend time with your lover. This is our lover. Don't we love? this masterpiece because it's ours because the story is from our own heart from our own imagination no matter we know the history about the story the history about that country it does not matter there is something that universally true, universally humane, the humanity of our expression, of our interest, it, it is universal. We may have a white face, yellow skin, white skin, black skin, different color of skin. We may have different facial feature, big nose, small nose, high nose, uh, low nose, fat nose, thin nose, or we may have uh, different eye color, black eye, uh, brown eye, green eye, blue eye. No matter what we have, no matter what we wear, painting, artist, connects us because it shows the very deep, profound humanity of us as humans.
human being. Wonderful, wonderful evening. I love you, Eric.